what is up guys in this video i'm going to show you how to take your f-150 badge off so you can upgrade it either you're going to color match it you, you bought something else you want to upgrade it whatever it is i'm going to show you how to take this off and ditch this and put something else on there right now i have the new badges on and i'll show you how to take them off and put the others on without causing damage and without taking a whole day to do it. This whole job took 30 minutes. So, buckle up, ready to roll. Here we go. Hey guys, I almost forgot to mention, I'm, I'm right now, I'm editing this video, but I forgot to mention that there is a left and right side. There's a driver's side, passenger side. It's very important that you get one driver's side and one passenger side. Uh, otherwise, it will not fit properly. Uh, so also, uh, I had this in an original video that got lost while making the driver's side, uh, but look at the logo on your F-150. If you look on the driver's side, the F is facing one way. If you look on the passenger side, the F is facing the other way. OCD people, you're welcome. Enjoy the video. All right, I'm going to tell you what you need to make this a quick job. You need a hair dryer or a heat gun. I have some long needle nose pliers. I bought a set and I can show you guys that later. And I also bought a set of tools, uh, pry tools, plastic pry tools, that I'm gonna be using for all the other projects that I got planned. But this tool right here was a lifesaver on the other side. And you need this tape. You're gonna put this tape all around your badge and that's gonna protect your paint so you don't damage your paint. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you guys the badge and what it looks like. So when you get it, there's this is what's holding it in place. There's two clips, and all this is adhesive. All this where the paper is, that's all adhesive. So that's all that's holding it in. So I'm gonna get the pliers down, come down and pinch this, push it out. Come down, pinch this, push it out. And the heat from the dryer Hair dryer is going to loosen that up and it'll come right off. Won't take no time. If you've been watching the channel any length of time, you know that I like Chick-fil-A. And they have these handy dandy little alcohol wipes. So I'm going to take that and uh, try to get the rest of the sticker off. All right, here's the moment of truth. Now these are factory um, OEM badges. I think these go on like the uh, XLT Sport or one of the blacked out editions, but these are actual OEM. But I went ahead, I went ahead and heated it up to give it a nice warm surface. And uh, all I'm gonna do now is just pop it in.
That is it, folks. That's how easy it is. Uh, I know you can take these panels out, but you can access everything from the top here. So get a, get some tools that have some extensions like these needle nose, and uh, it'll get the job done. This is the set I bought. You have four different options. And I like the angled needle nose. It allows you to get to that spot a little easier. This flat piece, which is really, really handy. It actually, uh, comes part of this kit and you have all these panel pieces to pop panels and you know guys I'm going to be putting on uh, a new grill here shortly and also I'm changing out my headlights uh, probably around Thanksgiving I'll be upgrading to a uh, full LED nice upgrade for my headlights so you need these tools to get get into your panels and get your lights off to get your grill off so having a kit like this it's going to prove to be very beneficial so uh, with that, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. And guys, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be glad to help you. We'll talk to you soon.